in front of you. Is it live? Yep. Okay. So I think I'm live, everybody. Okay, so would you believe I get here? They ask me to go. Come on in here, everybody. They ask me to go live. And then I go live. And they say, no, you can't go live while you're getting the shot. So, anyway, I just, so I'm going live now. I mean, that you have to wait for, after you have the shot. So, me and Mr. Jonathan, Pete, JK, Aaron, we all just had our vaccine. And what's weird is that I got an email asking me to go live. Am I on the church Facebook or mine? I'm on mine, okay. So I got an email and they said, you know, because you're the pastor of a mega church, would you please go live to set a good example? So I said, sure, if I'm gonna have to do this because I can't go to Israel next month. I'm going to Israel in as soon as the borders open. So they're saying Israel border is gonna open Come on in here, everybody. I love you. They say the Israel border is going to open May 23rd. Well, if it does, I'm I'm like on a plane May 24th. So I have the TV and media crew with me so that we can all be set to go. And I come here. They asked me to go live to set a good example. I'm out at Matson at the COVID vaccine place. And then you get in here and they said, no, you can't. So anyway... I wasn't about to argue with them, but I'm in the observation area now. So, tech, the truth is, I didn't even, I was talking to the lady, the dear uh, lady that gave me the shot is a sister from Haiti. The two brothers who registered me are two brothers from Lagos, Nigeria, that know Pastor Chris and Love World, which is who I, you know, I work for Love World Television. So, I mean, it was smooth sailing. There's literally like nobody here. And so it's just, we walked straight in. By the time we entered the building, I mean, we were getting the shot within three or four minutes. And so the sister and I were talking and she said, okay, you're all done. I literally didn't even know she had given me the shot. So the good news is <laughs> you, you, it doesn't hurt. You're not gonna feel that. The needle is so small. So I'm doing what they asked me to do, which was go live, set a good example, because the media has scared the mess out of everybody. And, you know, if you were with me before they made me shut down when we were coming in here, nobody wants to get this vaccine. I, I, like, I didn't come skipping in here this morning going, okay, great, let's do it. No, it's not about anybody wanting to do it. Um, Mother Willis has had both of hers. My dad's had both of of his they're 85 years 84 85 years old and they had no no issue whatsoever so um so when they you know they said i have to have this to f go international well it's not about anybody wanting to do it i know you don't want to do it either i don't want to do it but i think it's probably the best way to get our nation through this situation as quickly as possible we're almost to achieve herd immunity, I heard on the news this morning, in some areas. So, hopefully that happens soon. But I think the more of us that do this, so the more of us that do this, you know, it, we can get through this quicker. I'm at the site in Matson. As of today, you need no appointment. There's not a living soul hardly in here. So, all of the Illinois sites as of today are, you can walk in. So you don't need an appointment. Pete, where are we at? Pete drove. I don't, there's, it's a, a bunch of us out here today. Cicero and, and Lincoln Highway. It's the Illinois State, uh, or Illinois COVID. You'll see, a, I think it was a former, like maybe Kmart or something out here that they've transformed into this. So we're out in Matson, and you don't, you don't even have to call now. You know, all those people, when this first started, they were having fights and folks couldn't get scheduled and they were driving to other states and countries to get the vaccine. Well, now that that's all over. It's now walk-in available. So I encourage you, 
this is what I was asked to do, and I agree with it, uh, to encourage everybody in my sphere of influence to come and get the COVID shot. So far, I'm at 10 minutes. If you just tuned in, I didn't even realize the woman had given me the shot. That's how simple this went. I was talking, and she said, okay, you're all done. So no fuss, no pain, no, no weight, no anything. Uh, I'm going to stay on here till they let me leave, which is about 15 minutes. So I've already been, it's been 10 minutes since I got the shot. And um, I, I don't feel anything. Pete, do you feel anything? Yeah. And now Mr. Jonathan and JK and Aaron, they have, have they already left this area? Jonathan and JK and I want to reschedule. Oh, okay. So Mr. Jonathan's already up and out of here. He's already out of the observation area. Where's JK and Aaron? Oh, JK and Aaron are over there scheduling their next one. I had to schedule my next one. Uh, and then they give you a card. So I got this card here. I'll show you the, I'll show you the, oh, don't show the card. Oh, they said don't show the card. I didn't know that. Okay, I can't show you the card. Crazy, because they asked me to do all this and then, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you just joined me, I got the vaccine about 10 minutes ago. I got the Pfizer, the first one, and um, I had received an email saying, you know, please, please, since you're a pastor that influences people, etc. Who, who knew? Maybe I, maybe it don't influence nobody, but I'm doing what I was asked to do. They said, please try to set a good example and let people know, etc. So that's, that's what I did. And it's been about 10 minutes and I'm just fine. I, I didn't even realize she had given me the shot. So I'm in the observation area now. Again, if you just joined, you can come to Matson. It's walk-in today. It's walk-in. Now, if you, so while I'm waiting this last five minutes, I'll tell you my quick story because they scare everybody so bad. Here's the here's my story. 17 years ago, I was in China and I contracted SARS for six months, thought I was gonna die. We didn't know it was SARS. I came back to America and was so ill. Um, I think that was when Lynn and I, we made out a will because I thought I was gonna die. I was so, so sick. And um, finally, after about six months, they said, were you in China? And I said, yeah, six months ago, they said, you had SARS. That's so. I don't know if you all remember that 17 years ago. It was a big thing. But it, they they really confined it. It really didn't come to America. It was just I had been to China, so I contracted it. So anyway, I forgot all about. It. I mean, that's been 17 years ago. So when COVID came out, the first, one of the first things I read was, um, it's a strain of SARS. So I was like, really. So back in what COVID, I think it really, we shut down like mid-March. So when it came out, they said, it's a strain of SARS. So I was like, well, I had SARS 17 years ago. So in May, I think it was May of last year, right after COVID came out, I went and got my first antibody test. This, this mask is trying to come off of me, hang on. So don't you hate this mask? Whew, dear God, I can't wait till we can get rid of these masks. Anyway, this one's not on very... Pastor Sheila just gave me this new one yesterday because my old one was getting a mess. Anyway, so I was in China 17 years ago, got SARS. So when COVID came out, they said, it's a strain of SARS. And I said, really? And they said, yeah. Um, so I went in May, got an antibody test. The doctor called me like the day after and said, um, Pastor, you have the antibody. You've already had COVID? And I said, no. And he said, well, how do you have the antibody? And I said, well, that's why I came and got the antibody test. I had a feeling that I, when I had SARS 17 years ago, so the point being, they, the media, you know, you, believe the word of God. Believe the word of God. Not all the negativity of... Uh, of the uh, the media. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't read anything here, but feel free to leave me your comments and I'll read them later. Um, so the bottom line is every three months, 
I've gone and got an antibody test. Because then they started saying, well, if you have the antibody, if you have COVID and you have the antibody, you're immune for three months or six months. No way. No way do I receive that or believe that. Because I'm 17 years and I had this antibody when COVID came out. So technically, I don't even need this shot. I, I've had the antibody for 17 years from China when I was in China and got SARS. And COVID is a strain of SARS. So I think I've had now four in total, four antibody tests. And each one of them came back at exactly the same level. So the doctor's kind of doing a keeping track of this going wow he's like this is crazy because they tell everybody well three months six months blah 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 well I'm living proof that's not the truth so I've had it 17 I've had the the antibody 17 years and um, so but I went ahead and got the COVID shot because you can't I can't travel internationally and I'll be going to Nigeria I'll be going to Israel, so anyway, it is what it is. Uh, just in life, some things you have to go through, and it, like some of you that are watching today, some of my dear friends are, uh, I talked to somebody Saturday who is taking chemotherapy, and they asked me, they said, Pastor, it's, they were getting like their second dose, and they said, Pastor, I don't want to get it. I don't want that stuff in my veins. And I said, well, I, I, I get it. I agree. But sometimes in life, you just got, you got to do what you got to do. And this is one of those, as my, my mother says, necessary evils, I guess. So there's no chip. There's no tracking devices they're inserting in you. It literally is a tiny little shot a vaccine. Pete, who tells us when we can go? Like, do we just go? How do I know how long I've been on? I don't I don't know, I can't see. I'm gonna stay on till we walk out of this area. Um I don't know. How long have I been how do you see how long I've been on? Sorry everybody. Okay. Well, I'm about to ask if I can leave this observation area. Um, so hang with me. We're just going to go. I'm just, there's nobody to ask. So I'm just going to go. Okay. I guess if they don't want me to go, they'll tell me. And I'm out. Nobody's stopping. <laughs> I'm doing my own thing here today. Cause as you can see behind me now, I'll show you. There's nobody here. This place is empty. You could just literally walk in and you'll be done and I, I had the shot within five minutes of walking in here and now I'm walking out so uh, oh I'm gonna come over here by this wall hey JK Aaron everybody come over here by this wall Pete let's come over here so here we go okay all right so you guys come over here <laughs> So Pete's doing the camera right now, but I have Aaron, Mr. Jonathan, JK, Pete, all of us are going to Israel next month. And we just finished our we just finished our COVID vaccine. Okay, Pete, how are how are you feeling? You okay? Okay. So everybody that's watching, Pete's okay. I'm you guys, I didn't even know she gave you the shot. I was there yeah. talking kind of. I'm just talking where you're dead. I was talking to the lady. She's a dear sister, a, a believer from Haiti. And we were talking about how difficult COVID has been on all of the saints of God in Haiti. And all of a sudden she said, okay, you're done. I was like, what? Of course, I don't have phobias about needles or anything. So I wasn't really thinking about it, but it was done before I knew. So you're okay? I'm mean, just hungry. I got to go get some food after this. <laughs> the brother is hungry. So you got to get some food. Okay. How are you, Jay? I'm good. You feel anything? Mm. Nothing at all. Are you just being nice? No, I'm wondering if you had to take your shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> this, this one here. This one here. No, we pulled and just, it, my bicep was holding up. It 
That was yeah. the, that was yeah. the problem. We, we thought we were going to have to take my shirt off because my bicep. But we managed. There were two of us pulling, and yes. we finally got yes. it above yes. my bicep. If Marvel is casting. <laughs> what did you say? If Marvel is casting. If Marvel is casting, what? What is? Okay, Jake. This is great. All, all, all five of my fingers here. Oh my God. Look at it. So we're good. We're good. It's so bad. So we're all perfectly fine. So. You can come out here to Matson today. Just walk in. <laughs> this place is empty. We're yeah. like running the place today. So head out to Matson. We're at Lincoln Highway and Cicero Avenue. And you literally walk in. Bring your ID. Why can't we show our card? Just don't. Oh. <laughs> I went to show my card and I was told don't show it. has information on it. Oh, so yeah, that's no. why. Uh -uh. Yeah, personal info. Uh-uh. Oh. Okay, they didn't want you to see the, my birthday. It's 1982. All right, there you have it anyway. Okay, everybody. So, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's do this so that, it was so awesome yesterday. Everybody in the choir up there being able to sing and get through this without masks. So pretty soon they're gonna tell us we can throw these masks away anyway, yeah. thank God. So we're about to do that or herd immunity. So I guess the right thing for me to say is come get your vaccine and do your part so we can get through this. All right, at least that's what they told me to say. Stay safe. <laughs> that's what they told me to say. Come and do your part. And they told me to say stay safe. What? Stay safe. Yeah, bye. Stay safe. Stay safe. No, that's, that doesn't really mean, you know, that doesn't know. mean stay safe. Bye, guys. It means be afraid. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Pete's telling me to say bye. We're not really doing a television show here. See ya. Okay. Okay. <laughs> See you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>